Hey, what's up? This is Gary from Raz Rentals. So, I'm pretty excited because today I finally get to talk about the brand new NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time Baxter Stockman. I ordered this way back in October of 2020 and I just got it now in uh, May of 2021. So, you know, I was really, really looking forward to this because I've always loved Turtles in Time. It's always been one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. You know, long after the cartoon was dead, I didn't have any Ninja Turtle comic books. You know, I couldn't get any toys. I was too young to get eBay. I still had my copy of Turtles in Time that I would play all the time at home, you know, keeping the Ninja Turtles fresh in my mind until I went off to college and was able to find everything I wanted. But like I said, it held it held me over pretty well. You know, it's 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 an amazing game, right? So, you know, I think it's pretty awesome that we're getting toys based on characters from this actual game. Now, let's start with the packaging here. This is amazing packaging, but I've been staring at this thing, trying to figure out what this is. I've tried to look at pictures of the uh, arcade cabinet to see, you know, if there's a picture of Baxter on the side of it, and I haven't been able to notice him. So if you know, if this is from, you know, what this is from, please let me know, because I would love to know what this uh, shot is on the front. I mean, it looks like a suit. It looks like it matches these Ninja Turtle suits. But like I said, I couldn't find a picture of Baxter in this outfit. So if you can, please let me know what I'm, what I'm missing here. Because I don't have the... Uh, I don't think it's on the, the new Walmart arcade cabinet either. But I don't have that. And all the pictures I looked up, I could not find it. So you open it up. And you have a very awesome window here where you can see Baxter inside. Um, so I'm going to open him up and I'm going to compare him to the uh, the video game. Uh, he comes with both of his guns, his machine gun and his like his handgun. So that's pretty awesome. And like like I said, already off the bat, I think this guy looks amazing. You know, there are some things I could tell you just by looking at him that you know aren't the same as as they are in the um, the video game. But I still like this design so much more than the cartoon design. And I'll explain why in a couple of seconds. So this is something pretty awesome that I just realized when I opened this up. Baxter comes with, uh, he comes with one of these NECA flight stands. So that is awesome. That's great. So here's Baxter, free from his package prison. And he looks awesome. You know, he looks really cool. This is everything you get inside of this. You get a, a flight stand. You have the energy hand, that, and the energy hand has its own stand. You have Baxter. You have the hand gun. You have a machine gun, and you have uh, six. Well, you have six different hands. Uh, they're pretty much mirrored, so you have three sets of hands. You have grabbing hands, open palm hands, and fist hands. So uh, you know, like I said, this guy looks great, but obviously he is. A lot different than how he appears in the cartoon. Uh, just, just by his size, you know, he in the cart, or I'm sorry, in the toy. Oh, my goodness gracious! In the video game, in the video game, he is like hulking. So before we compare this guy with some shots of the uh, the video game, let's have some fun here. Okay, so let's have some fun here. All right, so when I play Turtles in Time, I always switch the colors to comic book colors because it actually makes the Ninja Turtles match their toy colors. You know, like Donnie's brown, Mikey's, like, forest green, Leo's, like, olive, and uh, Raph is, well, he's just plain green. Uh, I like it more than the cartoon colors because, the, you know, they're just, to me, it's just not the same. I like having the actual, uh, the toy colors when I'm playing it. And I always play as Donatello because I always like the reach of his bow. Um, I didn't know it as a kid. I didn't know for the longest time until I got the manual a couple years ago that um, every Ninja Turtle has like different stats for how they hit the enemies. And I can't remember who it is, Michelangelo or Raphael. One of them like hits the hardest. I think it's because their reach, you know, like to balance them out, their reach isn't that long. And so they make them stronger when they hit the, uh, the enemies. Donatello probably, I don't know if he hits the weakest, but he definitely has the uh, the longest reach. Um, but yeah, this game was great. And when this game came out in 1992, I think this was 92. I have to look it up. But this game was just like such an amazing game. Because at the time, you'd be used to playing your, um, your Nintendo Ninja Turtle games. 
and you know you'd play uh, Turtles 2, the arcade game on your Nintendo, and it you know it was awesome. It looked great, but it still wasn't like as good as the actual arcade game. So actually having something on your you know your home console that actually looked like the arcade, it was just like amazing. So, you know, it's it's pretty awesome. And in in a lot of ways, the way I picture a lot a lot of the, the enemies in Ninja Turtles, I always picture them how they appear in this game, such as Leatherhead or Slash. Um, because for me, I always remember the toys, and you know, there's a good period there where, you know, they didn't show Ninja Turtles on TV, and I wasn't watching Ninja Turtles, so. Um, there's probably like a good eight years where um, I didn't have any DVDs. I didn't have the VHS tapes of the old show. So I would just play this and you'd remember all the characters from this. So, you know, you forgot that Baxter was like such a tiny pipsqueak compared to how he appears in this game. I mean, in this game, he's like a giant. He's like almost like Bebop and Rocksteady size. There he is. So when he gets out on the ground, I'm going to um, pause the game so you can actually see... Um, what he looks like scale wise let's see all right that's better all right so you can see like look how big his legs are compared to donatello and he, he looks like the top of his back is probably around the same he's like a little up but it looks like the top of his back is like kind of in line with uh, donatello's head so like first of all he looks like he's probably a little taller than donatello and he's just big and bulky. He's almost like a Hulk Baxter Stockman, almost. Um, so he is a little different from this new toy that NECA just put out, just because the new toy is a lot skinnier than this guy. But having said that, even though he doesn't necessarily match the original toy, I still prefer this new Baxter's um, body, just because he's not as like tiny and weak-looking as the, uh, the cartoon Baxter Stockman. I love that when you hit him, that face he makes with like his, let's see, <laughs> like he's making like such a grimace on his face and you can see like his, his teeth and stuff like that. Like, that's great. And uh, after a while, you know, first he shoots you with this machine gun, but eventually you knock that machine gun out of his hand. All right. No, I thought he threw it, but he didn't. Come on, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to the game because I'm too busy talking here. Come on, throw the gun. There we go. He threw the gun, and now he's got the handgun. And you know, when I saw the pictures of this new NECA toy and they showed that extra hand, like I was so excited to get this guy because I just I love that. I love that he just has this giant laser hand to shoot at the Ninja Turtles. You know, it has so it has so much personality. I love when he hits you too, and he starts laughing at you. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. But he is he's very easy to beat. I think the only leader in this game that's pretty hard, tough is a uh, slash. Slash is like crazy because he's bouncing all over the place and he just keeps on running right into you. But that's it. All right, so I thought I would have some fun here and also show how Baxter looks in the actual arcade. Um, let's see. First of all, when he walks around in this game, there's so much more of an animation to him moving, which looks awesome. Um, and, you know, he, when you attack him in different spots, he makes different... Uh, shoot. I'm having... <laughs> I can't hit him. If you hit him in the air, he makes, I think, different, uh, goodness gracious. I'm having trouble with this guy. All right, so, oh my gosh. I can't, I'm having trouble, oh my goodness. I don't think the controls are as responsive as the Super Nintendo ones. Come on, throw your gun. Oh my gosh. There we go. When you hit him in the air, he makes a different kind of uh, pose, like he got hit. All right, he threw his gun, and even that 
animation, him whipping that gun out from behind him, is pretty awesome. And I don't know, just the anime, it's, it's very similar. Like the Super Nintendo port is just so close to this. <laughs> Even him laughing is, is, is pretty funny and pretty different than the Super Nintendo one. Pizza time. There we go. Come on. Ah. Oh. I wish I didn't kill him off screen. Okay, so I was wrong. Um, this game came out in uh, 1991. It says right here on the back of the manual. And I was also wrong. Uh, it doesn't look like Reach is actually a part of the Ninja Turtles stats here. Uh, it looks like Raphael is, has the strongest rush attack and special technique. Donatello has a pretty strong special technique. And his speed is way slow, but his his normal attack is more than Raph. Of course, Leonardo is the most balanced. Michelangelo here has the highest normal attack and highest special... Or no, sorry. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, Michelangelo has the highest normal attack. But, pretty cool. He even has pictures of the enemies in the hair. All right, so first I'm going to compare this guy to how he appears in the video game. And then after that, I'm just gonna kind of review this guy on his own, all right? Because the way he looks in the game is still pretty different from this. So, all right, if you look at him here, he's obviously a lot more skinny, more lanky. Um, you know, it's hard to get him into this kind of like crouching position that he is that he's in the game because he doesn't have toe articulation. So it's kind of difficult to balance him. Uh, now, if you look at him in the game, you see now he's like, you know, thicker. He's like very solid looking and has more of a bulky, muscular look to him. I would also make the argument that the hand doesn't necessarily appear as fist-like as it does in the uh, the game. Like this looks almost more like a giant Baxter-like insect kind of hand than it does um, kind of like a more uh, normal hand that you uh, you see. I think there's only three fingers in the game too, but there's just something about it. Like maybe the palm is a little bigger than this thing instead of these like longer appendages or fingers. I think height wise, uh, Baxter is okay next to the Ninja Turtles. You can you can you can try to make him look bigger than him or taller. The only the only issue is that he just does not have the bulk or the muscle to really look threatening, you know? But I mean, he still looks a little threatening. I mean, he's a, he's a giant fly with a machine gun. That scared the crap out of me. Obviously this isn't 100% accurate to the video game, but he's still an awesome looking Baxter. And like I said, when I saw pictures of this, I was more excited for this Baxter than I was the cartoon Baxter. Um, I just think he looks amazing. The only thing is that I wish that um, NECA would stop making all these like arcade figures. Like I, some, a lot of these toys, I just want them um, in this scale or, you know, the way they look just without the pixel art. Like, just give me like the, the tune deco on these guys and that would be perfect. So I do like the look on this guy's face. Like he looks so, so much more angry than the, the cartoon Baxter. Like he almost looks kind of like, um, almost like a Muppet almost. Uh, and then you have those big eyes with the little tiny dots in the middle, the, the square pixel dots in the middle. You know, in the game too, he doesn't have, like his hair is a little bit more poofy than this. But like I said, I don't want to complain too much because like I said, even though it's not 100% accurate to the game, I still like this. I think this is a pretty cool looking toy. So let's see, articulation. Um, he has a joint at the base of his neck, and he also has a joint at the uh, where his head connects to the neck. So you can get a, you can try to make it appear like he's hunched over a little bit. But I like, oh, you know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of the uh, the spider in um, Muppet Christmas Carol. That's what he he looks like. He's only got one tooth. In the game, I think he has multiple teeth, but whatever. He's still pretty cool. Um, his shoulders rotate around and they have a hinge. You have double jointed elbows and like 
For me, these kind of elbows always look kind of strange when you kind of move them this way. So lots of times I just kind of bend them here because I think it looks more it looks more natural than it does when you do this and you get this more like a tubey kind of look. But at least if you if you like double jointed elbows, you'll be happy to know that like you can he could be like, ah, oh, what should I do today? Sort of thing. Uh, you have a, a swivel and you have a hinge in the wrist. And I don't think you, I can't really, f I can't tell what's going on under here because his, his sweater is very rubbery and you can't really get a good look what's going on up there. I, you can, you have a ball joint right here in the stomach, but I don't think you, I don't know if you have anything above that. I don't think so. Uh, the wings, they're just like, you know, they have a swivel and a hinge. These extra arms here, they can swivel, and they have a hinge too. I mean, he doesn't even really use these in the game. They just kind of float in the back like that. Um, for the hips, you have these ball joints. And just like most of the new NECA toys, you have these way better hips than you used to. Uh, I used to hate the NECA uh, hips when they first came out. And now I love them. I think that they work great. I like the system they have here where you have the ball in there and the hip actually wraps around that. Um, it works really well. You have a double jointed knee joint and you have a, a swivel and a hinge here at the ankle. Also, I don't think you do, but I thought maybe you, no, it doesn't appear. I thought maybe you had a cut here, but it, I don't, I'm pretty sure you don't. And you don't have a cut here at the the bottom of the shirt either. I mean, you wouldn't really use that anyway. But um, as far as like moving him and getting him, you know, breaking him in uh, like with all the other NECA toys, he's actually really good. Like for a while there, for the first two waves of Turtles in Time, like the joints were so stiff that like I would have to use pliers to try to get some of their hips to move or, you know, whatever. This guy moves just like all the newer Toon Toys. So he's fantastic. Like you don't have any problems. There's even some points where maybe the the moving might be a little too loose, but I don't know. I would rather that than, you know, struggling to move it and then accidentally breaking it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so his pelvis here is like a, a piece of rubber. So it does move when you move the, the leg around. And luckily I haven't noticed any cracking yet. Maybe some slight, very little ones, but... It's not as bad as, like, the Rat King figure that came out. But, like I said, in general, I think he looks very, very cool, you know? I think he's pretty awesome. In the game, Baxter has two different weapons. He has his machine gun. Uh, he begins with that weapon, and then when you get him down to a certain point, that machine gun gets kicked out of his hands, and then he's stuck using his energy handgun, you know, where he can shoot that giant energy hand at you. Um, both of those are included, which is pretty cool. Here you can see the machine gun and you know this looks really cool it's kind of hard to see if everything is exact in the game just because it's so small and you have like the pixels and everything like that but it looks good and because he has two gripping hands you know when you play that game no matter which side he's on he'll switch which hand is holding the machine gun or the other gun but you know these this gun fits in his hand really well and his finger actually goes over where the trigger is. So that is pretty awesome. I always loved the energy gun in the game just because I loved how that hand would come out and hit you. And this looks really cool too, you know. It looks pr pretty close to the actual game. And uh, so... Ooh. Having a little hard time holding it with this hand. No, it's just like a little loose. It's not bad though. Like if you see, if you look in there, the hand is lying flat up against it. It's just not that tight, you know. It's it's flush, but it's it could just be a little sturdier. But you can again, you can put the uh, you can put his trigger finger on top of the trigger, which is great. Oh well, see the thing is with this hand because it's. A left hand you would want him to shoot this out with his left hand like it doesn't it's weird if he's shooting this out with the right so 
So you have this peg here, and I think it's tricky because you don't want to break this peg. You don't want to accidentally drop this and accidentally snap it off of your gun. So there you go. I'm going to take a closer look at the hand in a second, but man, that's awesome. I just wanted to see if this works. Um, this stand is doing a pretty decent job of supporting Donatello. If you took that gun out of Baxter's hands, Donatello and the hand would just tilt backwards. But because you have Baxter providing that extra support, you're able to get this, you know, looking pretty nice here. Like, I got to say, that's awesome. That's amazing. I showed you how the gun goes in there, which is, you know, pretty easy. You just kind of have to wiggle it a little bit and you'll get it in there. Um, to take this hand off the stand and get it off the stand, I usually kind of bring it down here where it doesn't have to um, stress this stand so much and just kind of squeeze it on up. I haven't had too many scuffs. I've had this one, but I don't know if that was caused by this or if that was like that when I first got it. Um, and like I said, here's the hand. And the hand is actually, uh, there's a ball joint in there. So you can spin this all over the place and put it into whichever position you want it. So as I said before, Baxter has three sets of hands. He has two gripping hands, which is great because you can have him hold both his machine gun and his energy gun. Don't fall over on me now, Baxter. All right, then you have these open palm hands, which look good too. And then you have two fist hands. And these look very good too. I like how, you know, sometimes you get fist hands and they'll look a little weird. Like they lo they'll lose like some of the mass that's supposed to be there. But these fist hands actually look pretty good. I like them a lot. Here's the uh, brand new Turtles in Time Baxter next to the cartoon Fred Wolf Baxter. And I don't know. I just, there's so much more life and expression in this guy. Like he looks crazy and zany. I feel like he is more in line with the original toy line than he is the cartoon where the cartoon... You know, you, f you almost felt bad for Baxter in that cartoon because he was just always getting like, you know, he would always end up in a worse place than he would be in in the beginning of every episode he appears in. Um, but like I said, this is just crazy. This looks like the kind of enemy that you want fighting your Ninja Turtles. You want the Ninja Turtles to punch this guy out, you know. He just looks cool. Uh, as re like for uh, reusable parts and stuff like that, I really can't tell. Like, his extra hands, these look like they are sculpted, brand new and different. Um, the feet are very similar, but also different, because he has, like, the finger, like, the, sort of like the toes on the back of the feet, and the feet are a lot thinner than uh, the Fred Wolf feet. So, I think that he might be all brand new parts. I'll have to see if his pants are similar to Casey Jones. Aha, so it's not Baxter, but he does have a lot of reusable parts, reused parts from uh, Vernon here. Now I can't tell what's going on in his upper torso because they're, you know, both covered in like rubber or vinyl, but you know, the pelvis here, that's exactly the same. The, uh, the thighs and the knees, they're exactly the same. So it looks like from his shins down to his feet, that's new. Um, it looks like his shoulders and the elbow joint in there, you know, the that little tiny circle piece that's all the same as vernon and from the uh, the forearm to the hand that's all brand new stuff and you know i would i'm wondering no i think that the neck is probably new too just because there's that giant hinge there so there you go there's some that's his uh, reusable parts so I would usually have this kind of shot in like my Ultimates review, but I already got Baxter and I already made my Baxter Ultimates review. So now I have to put it here, right? So isn't it amazing that within less than a year, we've got four brand new Baxter Stockman figures. You have the two Ultimates, you have the, the Fred Wolf Baxter Stockman came out, and now you have the Turtles in Time figure. And, you know, it's pretty awesome. All these guys look great. You know, this is Baxter has always been one of my favorite characters, whether it's been Baxter in Mirage comic books or Baxter in the Fred Wolf series, or just this amazing toy. And now having just like so many Baxters to set up, like it's 
it's a pretty cool place to be, you know? Because like I said, he's always been one of those those characters because, like, you know, a mutated insect, he's a little creepier than some animals and stuff like that. And he just looks, he, he looks great. Like, in every single one of these lines, he looks awesome. And I really like this new Turtles in Time one. I think, like I said, he uh, he's almost like a mix of... Um, He's more similar to the original toy, I think, than the uh, the cartoon appearance, just because of uh, you know how crazy he looks. I feel like the cartoon one has just always been a little more subdued and you know not as crazy or threatening. So you know this Baxter, he looks pretty awesome. He looks pretty cool whether he's fighting the pixelated Ninja Turtles. Or the uh, the Fred Wolf cartoon Ninja Turtles. Like, either works great. Uh, like I said, I like the, the cartoon versions more. I just wish that this guy was colored in the cartoon colors. You may disagree with me, and that's fine. But in my opinion, I just prefer the Turtles in Time look that these villains have. I feel like they're closer to the, the, the original toy line. And I don't know. I just, I think especially Slash and Baxter... Like, they look so much more imposing and threatening and just altogether cool. Like, I always thought, you know, the original Slash was kind of a dweeb and Baxter was cool in the cartoon, but he's just not, you know, he's not... I like my enemies to be strong, powerful, and look like they could actually pose a threat to the heroes. So, like I said, I prefer the the Turtles in Time versions of these guys. And with Leatherhead, I just like that he actually has his, uh, his shoes at the bottoms of his uh, jeans there. So, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And talk to you later.